If you have blurry prints on any of your printing pages, it could be, um, especially the first one that comes out, is going to be blurry. The indicator is that your fuser is, uh, the fuser sleeves on the roller are going bad. And that's a very common case on printers like these here. Um, basically any printer, any brother printer that has the TN720, 750 toner cartridges, for some reason they kind of had an issue with that where it gets to over 50,000 pages, sometimes under that, and it starts doing the blurry prints. And to check that, you print any page and it'll show you if it's blurriness due to a uh, bad fuser. It's very simple to check. Anything that will come out of the printer, even if it's slightly blurry or one part of it is blurry, what you do is you just put your hand, just wipe your hand over anything printed. And in this case, we have a good fuser. Nothing was smeared anymore. <clears throat> and uh, the fuser on this printer is good, even though we have 53,000 pages on this one that were already printed. Um, but if you swipe your hand over a printed page and it had blurriness, you look at your hand, if it has uh, black dust on it, it's bad. In our case, we don't have any uh, problem with the fuser. But if you do, um, the fuser is located on the back. You want to turn off the printer and wait a little bit uh, before you go in there because it's pretty hot in there. This unit right here is the fuser. To remove it, um, we'll just need to pull the duplexer out. Remove the side, I mean the back cover. Uh, they remove pretty easily. But make sure you put it in. Now you have a, a full access to <clears throat> to the fuser. You can open it. <clears throat> you can open it here and inspect it. These are the rollers. The upper roller is the sleeve. It's kind of a very thin metal piece that goes over the heating elements. And the bottom one is the roller. Um, it's just basically a foam and heat resistant kind of roller and uh, those usually two of them have to be replaced you can see that one is going out very soon um, it's beginning to have those kind of like lines going through it but anyway if you don't have a problem uh, with the com uh, printers quality you don't have to worry about it for a few thousand pages more but if you want to continue using the printer uh, just find a good deal online and have it ordered because usually they're from China and they're going to take about, you know, two weeks to get to the United States or elsewhere. Um, so uh, this is basically an unfortunate news for me, for you, if you have blurry lines and you have to go through this process of replacing a fuser. But fuser, to replace the whole fuser here, it's not very hard. It's about 30 minute job. And uh, the problem is that the fuser alone will cost you around 150 Possibly you can find a good deal of a used one with low page count for maybe $80, $100 on eBay sometimes. But that's about as low as it'll get.